Okay, so you guys want to download uh, WhatsApp onto your computer, on your PC, regardless if it's a Windows operating system or a Mac operating system. Uh, you can using a Android emulator. Um, use the one called BlueStacks. And I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this. So let's start with it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download BlueStacks, which is the Android emulator. Go to bluestacks.com. I'll have everything below in the details section. Now, when you go to this page, if you have a Windows based system, if you have a Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, XP, or Vista, you want to click here. If you have a Mac OS, a Mac operating system, you click over here. So I have a Windows 7, so I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to wait for this to download. It's going to take about five minutes to download. Okay, so when it's done downloading, you want to open up, open it up, and you want to go ahead and run it. And we're going to install this BlueStacks. Give it a second here, and this window will pop up here on the bottom right-hand corner. It says continue. Click on continue. Now look on here, okay? What you want to do is, uh, you don't need this very bottom one down here. So subscribe to Spotlight, one free app daily. Uncheck that, it's not needed, and you it, it'll install a lot faster. Click on install. And what we want to do here is we want to wait five minutes or so. And then you'll get this that'll pop up, and now it's loading. Give it another few more minutes. Okay, great. Now this will pop up. Okay. Okay, so from here we have to do two more things. We have to do two things in order to get the Google Play Store up and running. So this is what we do, okay? Go ahead up here and click on search. Just tap it once. And then from here, just type in anything. Just type in something. Doesn't matter because Google Play, there's no Google Play in here anyway. So now it says search play for whatever you put up there. Just click on that. And it says market finder, market not found, search web for installation, recipe, yes. Click on OK. And now what we're doing now is we're downloading an APK file. And if you look down here in the bottom right hand side, you have this little down arrow. Click on that. And you can see that this uh, it's an APK file. And it's an mpi.v23. And I think this will probably take about maybe three minutes or so. And you can see now Android is upgrading. So give this about three minutes. Okay, this is just about done. And you can just play around with it. You can like <clears throat> click on the down, the down arrow, and it's back here. If you want to take a look at it again, just click on that down arrow again. And you can see we're just about there. And on the blue stack screen, this is the home button. You can see the back button here. Okay, it looks like we're done. Now we need to do the same thing again, okay? Go back up here in the top left hand corner and click on search. It's, just, it's one click for this whole entire application. Up here again, just type in whatever. And then we'll type it, we'll click on search, play for whatever. Okay, so now here's the two steps we need to complete, okay? And first thing we're gonna do is we have to enable the App Store, and the second thing is uh, enable the App Sync. So I'm gonna push on Continue. And then from here it says add a Google account, add a Gmail account, and you can put in your existing, or you can put in a new. I'm gonna put in an existing one. And I'm gonna put it on pause here. <clears throat> okay, and once you put your uh, username and your password, you want to click on sign in down here. And this is going to take like five seconds. Okay, there we go. Now this page pops up here, back up and restore, and it says here, uh, keep this backed up with my Google account. It doesn't matter, you can just leave it checked and then click on next. 
Okay, and there you go. Now the app store is enabled. Now the last thing we need to do is enable the app sync. So we're going to click on continue. Okay, so if, now this will pop up enable app sync and my I'm covering my email address, but what we have to do from here is just put in your password and click sign in. And then you have this message that will pop up. Do you want your browser to remember your, this password? I always click never. You can pick it whatever you want. Let it log in. Okay, great. Now both the steps are done. Now you want to click on let's go. Then you'll get this message that pops up. You have to agree to the terms of the Google Play Store. I will leave this unchecked. I don't care about keeping up to date with news and offers. And then you click on accept. And here we go. Now we officially have a BlueStacks installed on the computer as well as Google Play is finally enabled. So you can see even on the top right hand corner, we can click on that and we can see we can do a search Google Play. Okay, now that you have uh, Google Play enabled, what you want to do is uh, you can click on the search up here or you can just click on your home button down here and it'll bring to you this page. And then what you want to do, of course, is just click on search and just type in uh, WhatsApp. You can see that. And then you just click, let me zoom in here. It says search play right here. This I already have mine installed, so you're not going to see this. Just click on this here. And it should be the first one. It will say WhatsApp Messenger. And you just click it there and you just go and install. And any questions or anything, uh, just comment at the bottom. Any subs and likes would be appreciated too. Thanks and have a good night, guys. Bye.